Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny Phantom and I hope you guys are all doing well. Hope you're having a great week so far. Happy Thursday. This is the first time in a few weeks now that we've gone back to back days and recording. I've actually been waiting and waiting and waiting to be able to review some new products that came out. There's been a long lull in between new products that were coming out. Some of those first partner packs were delayed and we did have that reprint of Vivid Voltage as far as the booster boxes go, but it wasn't necessarily a new product. After Chilling Rain, we went about a month and a half without anything new coming out and then we got the Marnie boxes but those got delayed and now today finally we are going to be opening up the trainers toolkit because I do love this product this is the second uh, product that I'm most excited about out of the three releases we're gonna open up the Calyrex boxes really soon as well uh, but the Marnie box was probably the box that I was most looking forward to and then the trainers toolkit was a close second because I do love the idea behind a trainer's toolkit. It's got a little weight to it. It's kind of like an ETB, uh, but with less packs. I think there's only four packs inside, uh, but you also do get a ton of cards, a ton of really, really good cards. The problem that I have with this specific product compared to the last trainer's cool toolkit that they, trainer's cool kit, <laughs> uh, trainer's toolkit that they released last year, uh, Crobat V is the card in here that's really a staple for a lot of decks. A lot of people are going to be using Crobat V, especially when it comes to competitive play. However, that has been already reprinted a couple times. We saw it originally when it came out and then it got re-released again in uh, Shining Fates. And then it was also a full art promo, a shiny promo uh, in one of the Shining Fates premium collection boxes. So without further ado, we're going to flip the camera around and you can listen to me talk while I open it up. But uh, Dedene GX was the card in the last Trainers Toolkit. It was a really cool alternate art version of the full art uh, but we didn't have uh, Dedeni uh, as far as reprints go. It was already a card that was getting pretty pricey, so it was really great to see the Trainer Toolkit come out because Dedeni was a staple in a lot of different decks. Granted, we didn't have a whole lot of competitive play after um, uh, the pandemic came and kind of shut everything down, and we don't have competitive play right now. Uh, hopefully that's going to change soon enough, uh, but I do like the product a lot. I like how it's laid out. It's got a really cool uh, insert in here that holds everything just to, just to store all your cards. Like I said, there is a little bit of a weight to it. It's about a pound and a half. Uh, but this is really cool how it's all laid out. You can just kind of see. Uh, and then it folds out just like a just like a normal card box, just like a normal uh, row. And this is how it looks inside. So you've got a couple different inserts. We've got four different packs. We've got Sword and Shield, Vivid Voltage, Chilling Rain, uh, two of those. So Sword and Shield Base, Vivid Voltage, and Chilling Rain. I do believe there were other people who got a different pack instead of Sword and Shield Base. Uh, so that's really cool. Then you've got dice, and you've got the poison and damage counters. You've got the coin markers. You've got sleeves, which are really cool. These are cool looking sleeves. Uh, you've got the code card, which we'll give away right now. So then you can have all that online. You've got a bunch of energy card, which <laughs> I know energy isn't necessarily overly exciting, uh, but this is definitely the most exciting part. Another reason why I didn't get overly excited about this one compared to the last one is a lot of the trainers that you see as far as competitive play goes, uh, they've already been reprinted an absolute ton, um, a lot. So this isn't something that's, wow, this is a little difficult to open. Good thing I've got a scissors right here. Uh, a lot of the trainers that are going to be in here have already seen multiple printings, so not overly excited about that. But we're going to go ahead and crack this open and just kind of look at what the contents are inside. Oh, it's all laid out like this. So you've got the Crobat V right away, which is really, really cool. Uh, so you've got two of those, and then you've got Sabrina and Bryson. Uh, search your deck for up to two basic energy cards, reveal them, and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck when you play this card. You may discard five other cards from your hand. If you do, you may also search for up to three Pokemon of different types in this way. That's pretty cool. Um, then you've got Air Balloon, Cheryl, Boss's Orders, Escape, Rope, Evolution, Incense, Big Charm, Cape of Toughness, Bird Keeper, Leon, which is an important card, Marnie, which is an important card, Metal Saucer, Ordinary Rod, uh, crushing Hammer, obviously a really big deal. Professor's Research, discard your hand and draw seven cards is always going to be important. Quick Ball, which does have some value to it. Um, Bruno, Switch, Scoop Up Net, obviously very important. Then you've got a bunch of different special energies. You've got Turbo Patch, Karina's Focus, Capture Energy, and then Miss Magius, the promo card. So it's a really, really cool value as far as what you would need if you want to play competitively. Uh, Crobat V is definitely one of those cards that's really kind of a staple in a lot of deck decks because of its dark asset. Uh, when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. 
you can't use more than one dark asset ability each turn. Uh, so Crobat V, obviously a really big deal in competitive play because of that ability right there. Draw power is obviously something that's very, very important. Uh, but this is just a good value. It's $30, I think, for MSRP when it comes to the Trainer's Toolkit. So if you are not playing competitively, if you've always wanted to look into playing competitively, this is definitely where I would start. I would get a couple of these probably just because you want to get play sets of everything. So maybe grabbing uh, two of these is a really good way to start just because it gives you a lot of different staples that you would need. And then it would give you four Crobat Vs to kind of build deck decks around uh, if you so choose. If you don't play competitively, why not? It's a lot of fun, um, obviously, um, besides the main reason that events aren't really happening right now. But that'll change in the future. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and open up these packs. We're going to start out with Sword and Shield. Then we're going to go Chilling Rain. Then we're going to go Vivid Voltage, and hopefully we pull something amazing. I really want to pull a Full Art Pikachu uh, or something like that out of Vivid Voltage, but we're only going to be opening up one pack. So the likelihood of that happening, uh, not so much. Uh, Pincurchin, Sobble, Wooloo, Clobopus, Scorpy, Reverse Hollow is a Metal Saucer, and right away we start out with some Fire, Caldeo V right away, Rare Candy, Hitmonlee, bead and there is the trainer card so right away we get an ultra rare, which is super super cool we're gonna go ahead and sleeve this bad boy up caldeo v not the most competitive card but caldeo is a super fun card nonetheless uh, not as good as what we saw with caldeo ex uh, in uh, archie's blastoise or anything like that we're gonna move on to chilling rain all right we're gonna start out with cast form lettyba golet clavipus cast form snowy form welcoming lantern and a Golurk Rare, Psychic Energy, Fog Crystal, Brawly, Celio, and here is our code card. So nothing overly fantastic in that Chilling Rain pack. Usually you're probably going to get only one hit out of four packs, uh, if you're lucky. So that could be the only hit that we get, but we might defy the odds here. Larvesta, Sobble, Lediba, Skuvit. We skipped over Crab Brawler, that poor Crab Brawler. Golurk, oh my goodness! We got a full Art Kaelin, holy cow, I was not expecting to pull that card. Fire Energy, Path to the Peak, Drizzly, Dinah Tree Hill, there's the code card. I was not expecting to pull anything else. Wow, that is a fantastic pull. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful card. Caitlin, Full Art, we've got a Full Art Supporter. What's up? That's really, really exciting. Okay, now we're going to move on to the last pack, which is Vivid Voltage. And hopefully, no, I really don't think we're going to pull a Full Art Pikachu, but that's okay because we pulled uh, Full Art Caitlyn and the Keldeo V, which is awesome. Uh, we've got an Electrike, Execute, Eevee, Woobat. We're skipping over Aracuda. Uh, Reverse Hollow is a Bnet and a Rare Flareon. Nice. Metal Energy, Mightyena, Trumbeak. Hit him on top, and here is the uh, good old code card. So with that being said, we did pull a Caitlyn Full Art and a Caldeo V, plus obviously we got our Crobat V and just the start of play sets of all of these awesome uh, uh, cards that you're going to need to help, you know, uh, build decks and things like that, which is why I really like and really enjoy the Trainer's Toolkit. Thank you guys so much uh, for joining me. I do love the Trainer Toolkits a lot. I think they're a really great value, um, kind of replacing what we've seen in the past as far as uh, theme decks go. This is a lot more bang for your buck because it gives you a lot of cards that you're going to use, which I think is a very, very big deal. Uh, with that being said, I'm not going to bore you too much more with any details, but if you didn't catch yesterday's video where we did open up a Marnie Premium Collection, definitely go check it out because we are giving away two uh, Marnie Premium Tournament Collections. So uh, if, you, if you haven't been able to find any yet, there's going to be a chance to win two of them right here on YouTube. Uh, you can win two more of them on Instagram. So you just have to go follow me on Instagram at danny.phantom to win them on YouTube. You just have to make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Go leave a like and a comment on the last Marnie video video that we just posted yesterday. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate you, and until next time, peace.